Hey everyone, it's Ivan, Kitbadger.com, here today to talk briefly about the Savage AccuFit stock, as well as how to adjust it. I'm going to go ahead and say, for the money, big fan of the Savage Accu stock. Straight out of the box, it works. You don't have to throw it away. It's actually a free float stock. It doesn't touch the barrel. It works. Just that. Unlike a throwaway stock, say on a Remington 700, maybe a Hogue overmolded stock, in fairness, it feels really nice. Right up to the point, you load the bipod, makes contact with your barrel, shoves your groups off. No. The AccuStock free float, lightweight, it works. They have done an incredible job with adding the AccuFit. Personally, I think it's amazing and I can't stand that most rifles made for optics don't have some sort of adjustable comb. So it's really hard to get that appropriate cheek weld so that you can look naturally through your optic. This allows for both the adjustment of the comb as well as your length of pull. I'll show you how we do that. When we get our Savage with the AccuFit, it's gonna come with a number of different options. Inside, you're going to have different combs, depending on how high you want this, which is gonna correspond with how high your optic is. And you also have a number of different spacers that can be used individually or in conjunction with each other to give you a increased or decreased length of pull, whatever ends up being natural for you. How we adjust it is pretty simple. Taking a standard Phillips head screwdriver, we're going to reach down inside the butt pad until we make contact with our screws, at which point we're going to loosen them up. We're going to have a screw up top and then a second screw right below it. And we're going to get both these guys loosened up. Once we've loosened these enough, we can start to remove it. I need to loosen this one a tiny bit more. there we are we can go ahead and separate these two pieces there's our screws right here is one of the spacers this one for me does a good job if for whatever reason it was too much or not enough i can use one of the other provided spacers with this removed i can go ahead and adjust my comb if i want also this basically slides back and lifts up Removing this, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and replace it with a lower one or a taller one. Again, this is the one I want. So I'm gonna go ahead, put it in, press it down, basically slot these feet into these little holes and slide it forward. That's gonna lock it in place. To further secure it, I'm gonna go ahead and put, again, whatever's appropriate for me for the length of pull. Put this guy back here. And once I get it where it needs to be, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this guy back up. Adjustable length of pull as well as comb height used to be something that honestly was just found on like really expensive chassis or really expensive rifles. Really glad to see Savage incorporating it in a way that one, works really well and two really easy for the user to actually manipulate change out to whatever fits them great great stocks incredible value for the money with respect to the stock as well as the rifle if you ever have the opportunity to run one of these let me know what it does for you and as always thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com look forward to seeing you next time Yeah.